welcome back to my quilting corner. My name is Brandy and I am the Hunter Proof Quilter. Today we are talking about rulers, trim tools, and templates. So what is your go-to ruler for half square triangles? Mine are the Clearly Perfect Slotted Trimmers. I learned early on in my quilting career, it's still early, that um, trimming up and making sure your seam allowance is there are really important or your quilt will be catawonky. And you don't want that, unless that's what you're going for. For me, it was not. And so I learned really quickly that I needed to make sure that I trimmed up my blocks to where they're supposed to be. One of the tools I use for that are these clearly perfect slotted trimmers. This one is uh, trimmer B, and it is the solid two, three, four inch. I think this one goes up to um, six inch. Um, half square triangles. Then I have trimmer A, which is the half inch, and it goes up to six and a half inch. And then this one I specifically got for a quilt that I'm making for my husband that I will be starting at the end of the month. Um, and he needs these little tiny one and three quarter inch half square triangles. Now this goes all the way up to seven and three quarters inches. This is my largest one. I have yet to use it for a larger project. Um, I'm sure I'll get there someday, but currently everything that I have used them for have been in the four and under. Today I'm just going to show you on a couple of half square triangles that I have in my um, scraps. So um, let's get to it and I'll show you what we got going okay so today's rulers are um here are the rulers we're going to start with this one which is um the two inch notice that this notice this has a seam um a seam allowance and it's grayed out so it shows you where your seam allowance is you put this dotted line right along your stitch line on your half square triangle. So here is my stitch line and we are going to put this right here for a two inch square. For a two inch half square. Okay, so we're going to trim the sides. toss those we don't need those now we're gonna put this back on here make sure that this line is points up and goes to the tip of your half square triangle and then we're gonna cut the little dog ears off and I have this is a new blade I don't know what's going on so um, okay All right, so, so this is what we have. Now, we're going to trim that up. We're going to iron that real quick. Um, because it's smaller, we are going to All right. So, give that a second. All right, so, now, this is our two inch square. To make sure that we did get it trimmed correctly, this line right here, and we have lines right here that go from where we cut our dog ears, there's little lines right here. We're going to line those up with the bottom of our half square triangle, and we're gonna take our line in the middle and put it right in the middle between the two different fabrics. And we're even. There is our two inch, which is two inches by two inches. So that's a really good um, representation. And that is the Clearly Perfect Slotted Trimmer B. So we're gonna put that over here. So the next one we're gonna do is the Clearly Perfect Slotted Trimmer D. Um, these do to the three quarter inch. So it's one and three quarters. Now, I specifically got this one for the quilt for my husband. Um, he's getting a bear paw quilt, but the bear paws are gonna be 
the little they're going to be smaller than a traditional so I'm going to use this small uh, three uh, the small one and three quarter inch um, which this is actually a piece of scrap from another project so this one's actually probably pretty close to that without all the trimming um, so look it was almost perfect <laughs> so we have the little tiny square now you have to be really careful with your seams on the smaller ones because if your seams aren't correct which mine is not see how that goes so when I open this it's not going to fold correctly um, now I can probably wiggle it so that it does I don't know if you would call that tricks of the trade or that a new quilter has a seam allowance issue sometimes okay so here's our little square now this one is probably going to be a little off but it shouldn't be by much once again we're going to do the same thing we did before and we might have a little tiny issue because I was my my seam was off but see right down the middle the lines and look we got a little tiny square so that is good so this one was the D and it's for the one and three quarters um, now I haven't really used any of the bigger ones yet um, for some reason I like the smaller quilts so this is our last one and this is our most used one this is the two in it this is this clearly perfect slider trimmer a and this is the one I use the most um, because almost everything calls for two and a half inch half square triangles so apparently I trimmed that one up already let's ignore that one <laughs> let's try this one okay so same as before this is our seam allowance and we're going to put this right on the two and a half and oh look my seam allowance is almost good this time we're going to trim this up we're going to take the dog ears off ta-da we're going to um, press that open and so see so here's an exact example so this is all for my scrap stuff and so I don't um, I just sewed on the ends of other stuff I was making to make half square triangles so this one is not going to be even so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna flip this around because this should need to be cut it there so we line this up and see I'm I'm a little shy but I knew that And of course, my little seams aren't correct, but for demo purposes, this ends up being a two and a half inch square by two and a half inch. So, what is my take on these clearly perfect slotted trimmers? I use them. I use them a lot. Um, do I use them all? No. I mainly use these two, but like I said, I bought this one specifically for my husband's quilt and should I do any um, larger stuff it's going to be perfect so I will put a link down in the description these are by New Leaf for Carry Car um, these are a definite must All right, so that um, is my little tips and tricks on the half square triangles clearly perfect slotted trimmer rulers these will be in the um, description below uh, link to them 
I want to, a disclaimer, I am not a paid sponsor of anybody. These are my personal opinions. And while your opinions may vary, I'm just giving you my opinions as a new quilter. Um, so, these will be staying in my little sewing arsenal. Um, I get a lot of use out of them. They actually stay really close. So, if you are new here, welcome. If you liked what you saw today, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be great. And if you like the content that I'm putting out there in YouTube land, if you could go ahead and give me some subscription love, that would be great too. And it doesn't cost you anything. And it does world of wonders to help me put in new content. If you're returning, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. You're the reason that I keep doing this. And so... You guys go out there, marry some seams together, make some gorgeous quilts, and I'll see you next week for more rulers.